Today, we would have had a pomp and color as the STEAM staff, students, partners, and other stakeholders would be congregating right here for the STEAM convocation. However, COVID-19 has given us a different tune to dance to this time round. But what is STEAM anyway? Short-term experience in ministry STEM is a one-year program for fresh graduates from the Christian unions that we work with. These young, passionate and zealous uh, young graduates come on board and are exposed to serve in different contexts, in institutions of higher learning, through the Christian union, in the church, in community outreach, and in various diaspora programs. We have had a team of 47 in the current STEM cohort, came thirsty and eager to grow and to serve and are now committed to carry on and continuing the good work wherever God positions them. This join a team of over 600 STEM alumni who have been on the STEM program since its inception in 1992 and are now serving the church and the society, carrying on the theme and the motto of STEM, developing leaders, transforming lives. Each of the STEM staff describes their past 12 months with nostalgic experiences as they reminisce on their joyous memories they had through their service. Uh, STEM for me has been a great experience. Gratitude is all that resounds in my heart. It's been a year of the Lord's faithfulness. It's been a year of the Lord's teaching. Some of the greatest moments that I ever got is when we have an activity with students and you get to bond, interact, share, and they look up to you like um, a big sister. I remember also going to fellowships, you know, Friday fellowships. And, and just having a fellowship together with a student was an amazing moment for me. Moments when I could just be in those executive committees and God, you know, just helping me work with them through various de deliberations and also helping them make different decisions. The times that I've been facilitating discipleship programs with the Christian unions, meeting uh, students in the classes that is in the answer fit for the first years the focus fit for the final list the best three classes above all helping the students by offering pieces of advice whenever they had personal struggles and seeing them getting to the right track used to give me joy and satisfaction um the discussions we had with the students especially when they, they came to my house i really enjoyed every bit <laughs> Ministry has over time proven to be God's mission to those reached and to those reaching. The STEAM staff share stories of how their lives have been transformed by the Lord, their values and perspectives shaped, and more skills gathered from their experiences. Being in service has also helped answer questions I never even knew I had. It has exposed weaknesses and strengths that were otherwise hidden. Wednesdays we could play volleyball at the student center Kasarani. It taught me the value of accepting correction and critics without breaking and actually affirmed, you know, receiving praises without allowing pride to take control of you or consume you. Because I can tell you for a fact, there are days I will take the ball and serve it and the whole team would be winning and there are days everything was just when I joined STEM and I heard we would be fundraising or friend raising as we would call it, it felt like a bother. It felt like burdening people with my responsibilities. But STEM has made me know that the resources for God's work are in people's hands and it is you to give them an opportunity to give them out by requesting them to support updating them on how things are and it was interesting just calling people and asking them this is what i'm doing would you consider supporting me and they would be very positive and say thank you for the privilege i hadn't thought people see giving as a privilege it is in this program that i've really learned disciplines and skills like time management planning, budgeting, personal organization, counseling skills, listening skills. Teamwork, honesty, simplicity, consistency, hard work, and excellence. I've been convinced 
of God's continuous provision for his work. I have learned to be consistent in every project that I undertake. I am more friendly, more responsible, more confident, more strong. I was not a good team player, but working with my teammates in projects, I have come to realize that everyone is gifted in a particular area and they bring a a fresh idea to the table and that has enabled me to appreciate it and everyone knowing that God has gifted them differently and God has given them something that I don't have. I've learned how to do PowerPoint slides, I have learned how to prepare for training, to look for content for various trainings. I have come to learn that God is the main character in my life story. Before, I was after doing my goals and ambitions. The conviction to raise a discipled generation, a people who understands the message of God. I have been so much exposed to new things, to different things, to new culture. Right now, reflecting back um, um, the past 11 months, I am more confident in the work that God is doing among students and the transformation that God is using them to bring into our nation and even the entire world. With such heartwarming stories of how STEAM has impacted each of these individuals, one can't help but look at the place where such an impact could be greatly felt the family. So, what do the parents of this team cohort think about the entire program? My name is Venerable Wilson Furugo, the father to Clement Kamau Babu. When our son uh, graduated from Kisi and told us that he is joining our focus, we could not complain uh, with my wife because actually it gives us joy because we knew it will be of much great benefit. My name is Wilfred Albert Nyamgero. I am the father to Ruth Nyamgero. I was so grateful to God and to the leadership of Focus for picking my daughter to be a STEM staff. I've always known Focus to provide good and balanced training. I have ever attended commission and so I got such good experience there that for my daughter to be going to work with the same people was something exciting. My name is Stephen Mtuambindio. I'm the father of Shaila Mwende. After our daughter shares this idea to us, me personally I was against it and I shared it with the mother. She was on my side. The reason why we we are against this one. We thought it was waste of resources, waste of time, and also waste of the foundation of our destiny. Kremit has been very, very deeply rooted in Christianity. He has developed a zeal for God's work, which is my joy, our joy as a pastor. She has acquired so many disciplines. One, reading and uh, analyzing books. I liked that particular discipline. She had to live on a slim budget and I liked that training on financial discipline. She also has acquired a wealth of knowledge, new knowledge on the Bible and uh, leading Bible study. Uh, she has good etiquette that I'm sure she picked from that experience. I'm just grateful to God for giving her that opportunity. My name is uh, Reverend Jonathan Joroge. I'm married with the five children, who amongst the home is Pauline Jerry Joroge, who is in STEM. She was able even to give me assistance with her friends, came and uh, preached with us in uh, our, our churches. And I liked that also. She has more words. She can expound the word better than earlier before. We have witnessed 
several benefits. Just to mention a few. We gave her some responsibility in the home, in the management of the affairs of the house, and she has shown some leadership skills. She operated in the spirit of teamwork, spirit of stewardship, and she was making independent decision. Let me say that, uh, focus, we are very, very much thankful for the way you considered our sons and our daughters and committed them to mold other young people to become a reliable generation. All this would not be possible without a special category of people whose individual commitment to support each STEM staff financially, morally, and in prayer results to a collective sustainability of the entire STEM program. STEM partners, as they are called, have something to say regarding the impact of STEM. I decided to support STEM program after seeing the impact the graduates were having in the society. And um, supporting the individual STEM staff has really filled me with great delight. I see the, how the rich content of the one-year program produces growth in them. And in fact, what this does, it also creates a multiplier effect among the students that they serve in. Of course, supporting them financially means their individual needs are met and thus they are able to provide undivided attention to the tasks that they have on a day-to-day -day basis. And God has been very faithful. He has supplied my needs as well. So STEM program is worth supporting because this pool of well-trained and competent persons are stepping out into society and positively transforming it in a manner that pleases the Lord. It is great joy and fulfillment knowing that I am part of the STEM program through financial support. I am indeed glad to see the work of STEM continue beyond and see the impact it continues to have in our society and the students' lives. To all potential STEM partners, desire to partner with God through offering financial support to STEM, then sign up and trust God's provision. It is not about how much you give. Sometimes we think of that huge amount we may or not have but it is about what you give. And that will go a long way in seeing the work of STEM continue running. Hi, Sony from UK. Jose has been a friend, he has been a mentor. He has been a mentor in terms of reading books. I now know I have to research the author before I read the book. My name is Noel Cynthia, and on behalf of the Lower Kabeta Campus Christian Union and the Parklands Campus Christian Union University of Nairobi, we want to appreciate our STEM staff, Sir David Dwainana and Sir Pars Miti, for their relentless efforts towards ensuring the growth of the union as a whole. Coming back to STEM staff, to some, STEM provided a platform for self-discovery. Some are beginning to sense where the Lord could be sending them after STEM. I am going to carry these skills and competencies to whatever field and door God is going to open in the near future to serve people, which I hope will ultimately result to transforming lives. I also feel the Lord is calling me back to ministry. As I live and go out there uh, to the corporate, it is my desire that I will apply whatever I have learned throughout the journey. Even as I take another bold step of continuing his student ministry, I'm confident of his leading and guidance. It will be another year of God working in me. I did not give God one year, but God gave me this one year. To my students, focus associates, staff, and other stakeholders, I commend you to the grace of God that you may be able to meet your spiritual needs, physical, social, and economical, according to his riches in glory. And give him the glory.